My name is Kontam Singhna Sena Singh. I'm from Turasanpur. My age is 27. I play professionally for Hyderabad FC and the Indian national football team. Uh, yes, uh, on the 3rd of May, I was playing a match in uh, Kerala, as I remember. Uh, my mom called and a lot of uh, people from the family called, my brother, my sister. And I was surprised, like, what might have happened. Uh, so when I called back, after the match got over, I got my phone, I called back. And I was really worried what happened. And then I heard my mom crying over the phone. She was saying that uh, there were burning houses, there were gunshots, there were attacks, and which I was really worried and scared. I thought maybe I would lose all of them. I'm talking to them for the last time. I don't know how to express that feeling. It was really scary because I, as I said, I thought I would lose all of them and I was speaking to them for the last time. And I told my mom, please do not hang up the call. Please be on the line. Yeah, that's how uh, it happened on the third night. And I was to fly on the fourth uh, back to Hyderabad after we played the match. And I stayed the entire night awake and was speaking to my mom over the phone. And fortunately, they escaped uh, the, the Indian Army. They evacuated them from Churchanpur. Uh, they provided trucks, uh, buses and jeeps uh, to evacuate them from there. And then that's how they went to the relief camp in Moirang. And then from there on, then I heard the news of uh, our house being destroyed, burned and being torched. And then after a few hours, again, the football turf that I built uh, in the locality in Churchanpur, Tuibong, uh, is being burned, destroyed as well. So I got this information and uh, it was really heartbreaking and sad because I had a big dream of, uh, you know, providing a platform to the youngsters coming up in Churchanpur. They were really talented, but they couldn't afford a football school. So my dream, my plan was to provide them a platform where they can become a professional player and then they can go on and... Uh, uh, play for the national team and then become a great player for the country and help their family as well uh, because as you know now football uh, once they become a professional they can help their family and people around them their life changes so that was my plan but then this incident happened and everything got destroyed and everything being robbed taken away uh, fortunately I, I would say my parents my family everyone escaped alive and that's, I would, you know, it's God's plan, I would say, that they're alive and I'm happy about that. But everything that we ever earned and ever had is being all taken away. Now we have to, again, uh, as a family, regroup, build the strength and then restart again. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what's at the moment. And what's unfortunate is we still have no clue when we can return back home. Well, there is no home. That's what I heard. Uh, uh, from a few friends that I have back there in uh, Churchanpur, they told me that uh, our house is being destroyed, broken down, and uh, so is the football club as well. And so there is no place called home for me to go back. But I hope uh, we can rebuild and restart again once the government give us a green signal. I would say that we are safe to go there. We are safe to start a new life because. Like us, there are many families who are stranded uh, elsewhere in relief camps and many other places in Manipur who are finding it hard to survive as well. So uh, it's getting tougher each day. So I hope the solution is uh, there. You know, the concerned people uh, who are to look after us and to protect us and to give us the shelter and for us to build our future on, uh, to decide. And uh, so we can't plan anything at the moment. And it's really sad to see uh, my family suffering. That's one of the reasons I couldn't go uh, play for the national team on the 15th of May. I was called uh, for the national team to represent the country, which I couldn't go because the, given the situation uh, back home was very difficult for me. Uh, to not be able to be part of the team because playing for the country is the highest honor and it's everyone's dream, so am, so as mine. But my decision to not go was never easy. But as we all understand that family in our life is the most important thing. So I had to be with them in the difficult moments and the most difficult times of our lives. Uh, because our house were burned, they didn't have any place to live in and they were morally down, they were crying, they were depressed. 
I had to be there uh, for them as a strength, as a support. And so that was my decision to not be able to be part of the Indian team, which uh, won all the, both the tournaments with great performances from my teammates, uh, which I missed out on in my career, you know. Uh, in a footballer's life, uh, playing for your country, it doesn't come every, every now and then. So missing out on such tournaments and such matches, we hardly play uh, around 10 matches a season, uh, a year. Uh, for the national team. So I have missed out on those uh, eight to 10 matches, which is really sad, but given the situation, I think anyone would choose the, to be with the family, given the hardship, given the, uh, the worst scenario that my family faced and everyone in Manipur, in Churchanpur faced. So that was my decision to be with my family. Uh, the tournament was held in one in Bhubaneswar, the Continental Cup. And South Cup was held in Bangalore, which both of the tournaments are won by the Indian team. Uh, it was held uh, during the month of uh, June and July. So, how many people are selected from Northeast for the tournament? From Manipur, I think seven eight of us were selected, from which I couldn't turn up because uh, I am from Churchanpur, where we the Maite are the minorities there. So, I'm the only one from there. So, I couldn't go for the camp because the reason that my house and everything was torched and burned and my family was staying in a relief camp, I couldn't go. So, yeah. So, students, now you have mentioned that uh, your uh, football club was vandalized. So, uh, may we know that how many students, how many players are, uh, uh, what to say, uh, practicing in your football club? A lot, of, uh, a lot of kids come train and I provide them uh, training in the morning, uh, free of course, of course. And then, uh, in the evening, uh, there are bookings, they come to play and things like that. My plan was to have an established football school for which I was building up a gym, spa and you know for ice and hot therapy as well. So I was trying to do things uh, what a professional player gets so that they are trained well in the gym, they are trained well in the ground and then they have a good recovery session as well. So that was my plan, that was my dream, which I won't give up on. I will again hopefully restart again and try to build elsewhere. That's my dream and I won't give up on that. But for now, uh, it's very difficult to plan because as I said, uh, there is no certainty where, when we can go back and restart again. Yes, we know that your house has been burned down and evacuated also. And you have made that you have got a great impact on your career due to the violence. Uh, just we want to know that uh, where are you staying right now? I'm staying at my friend's place, Salam Ranjan, my fellow match, who is also a professional player, right now playing for Gokulam Kerala. He helped me while I was finding a rent in Manipur where my family of uh, 12, 13 people could stay together. It's very difficult to find a house as such. Uh, so luckily he built a new house and uh, his previous house that they were living in was uh, vacant. So my family shifted there and we are living there all together. And coming to the point where my playing career, uh, at the moment I'm playing with Hyderabad FC uh, in the Indian Super League and uh, for the national team which I missed out on, I will work hard again and to be part of the team which it's uh, my aim to work hard and perform well at my club to be again uh, selected for the Indian team. So what was the reaction of the coach when you decided not to uh, participate in the tournament? Uh, of course, it was very difficult for me, myself, to speak to the coach about my, me not being able to attend the camp. But he understood the situation perfectly, which I'm really thankful to him. And also, Saji sir, the General Secretary of AIFF, for allowing me and understanding me, uh, my situation. And for being so supportive and giving me, uh, you know, words of encouragement and support during this difficult time and the coach said to me and uh, even Sajisha said to me uh, that your family is the most important thing in our lives and you have to be there for them and make sure you are safe and the family is safe and then whenever you're ready and you again come back to the national team and fight for your place. So those words were very welcoming to me in, in a hard situation and hard times. So I would like to thank them as well for being so supportive and understanding. And what will be your last appeal being an affected person, what would you like to say to the government? Uh, we are still stranded 
uh, in many places around uh, Manipur in relief camps and life is really hard. I can imagine uh, people uh, from various situations, uh, it's very difficult on a day-to-day -day life. We need a solution and we need to restart our life and for that the government should first assure our safety to go back uh, to the places that we belong and for that whatever strategic plan the government has please implement and please uh, provide uh, people their safety and make sure that they can go back home safely once we call home which we can again build and live there peacefully.